Hi, everybody. We'll wait a few minutes and see if anybody comes. Um, I have some really neat things to show you. I hope you enjoy it very much. Um, as you can see behind me, I do collect a lot of different things. That's one of my hutches. I do have two. Um, let's hold on and see if anybody shows up. If you do hear doggies bark, I do have three big doggies. So don't be oh so surprised that they're not. They don't bark or whatever. <laughs> they haven't been out for a while, so that's a possibility. I see two people. Smash that like button and subscribe if you aren't. I sure would appreciate it very much. Now I see one. Somebody say hello. Everybody okay today? I hope so. Internet issues. Oh, my God. My internet went down Friday, Thursday. Hi, how are you today? I hope everything's good. I'm glad to see you. So it went down Thursday, then it come back up Friday, and then everything crashed. It fried my router. It fried everything. So I wanted to put out more videos, but everything I did is gone. Yes, they're awful. So they had to come and see what they could do with it and try to fix it for today. Everything I had done, I did a haul video. Um, I was outside, and everything's gone. So we're going to do this again this week and hope everything goes good. And you're right, Internet issues. It's like, and on top of this mountain, it tends to have problems as well. I know, it's crazy. It is, it's crazy. Oh, I hope more people hop on here. I am so happy to see you, Vintage and Vinyl. I am so excited you're here. It's like been kind of a rough road getting started, but hanging in there. Hey, Blue! Oh my goodness! I am so happy to see you guys. Oh, hi, Lori. You guys are awesome. Thank you for stopping in and coming to this. It's like my total most has been uh, three, <laughs> but just getting started and getting everything around. I'm not giving up. I'm going to make this work really good. Um. If you guys' birthday is in October, let me know. I have a free October giveaway for you. Um, yeah. Lori, I'm not going to give up. It's just like everything goes wrong all at one time. It is. I can do this, and it looks like maybe the lighting might be a little bit better. The lighting is a real big issue in my house. My whole house is wood, and it's made uh, the, oh, the stain on it is early American, and I'm having, hey, Jackie. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. And Katie, you're right. When it rains, it pours. You guys can see me okay? That's awesome. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so excited over this. Y'all smack that like button if you please. And I'm just so happy you guys are here. That light's not 
too impossible, I can try to lean in front of it. Everybody been okay? Jackie's birthday was yesterday. Happy, happy, happy birthday, Jackie. She also is receiving a gift from me, too. So if your birthday's in October, please let me know. Mine's the 26th. I'm getting really excited. I'm so happy I got five people. Twenty-one, awesome, Jackie. So I'm counting backwards. So let's see. If you turn mine around, I'm forty-three. I will be forty-four. Wait, forty-six. Oh hell, I don't know. I mean, heck, I don't know. We'll do a November thing too. I want to like get all the attention that I can get. All I want to make this grow so much. I'm just totally excited. So we're going to do something each month. You'll be 64. I'll be 64 October 26th. And I kind of wonder where all the time goes. I have an eight, almost 18 year old grandson. He will be 18 um, November 29th. I have a nine year old granddaughter. She slipped and fell down a hill and cracked her ankle off of the curb. So at first they thought it was a bad sprain, but it was so swollen. They thought it was broke. And now they're back to thinking it's a bad sprain. But no matter what, this going to school five days a week for her, it's like every time she goes to school, she gets a bellyache and then she gets thrown out. So not thrown out, but she has to leave. She has to be tested for COVID and she has to be quarantined 14 days and then go back in. So I think, I think my daughter is going to keep her out for the rest of the year and just let her go online because this is crazy. It, it's absolutely crazy. And for little ones to wear their masks all day, that's even crazier. So I understand it and I know everybody has to stay safe, but I think she'll do better on online. She spent almost half of last year online. So We'll see what happens. Um, I, Isaac is a senior this year. Looking forward to his driver's license. I don't. I don't know. My daughter works full time. Um, she's a caregiver. She takes care of a lady that's around my age, um, and she's awesome. My daughter is awesome with her. Um, and now Lily goes to school with her, so she takes care of the lady that she takes care of, and then she runs back and forth with Lily online, so it's crazy. Now Isaac is gone five days. He wanted to go um, online, okay, but because he's in tech, they don't allow him, and he's going full-time for construction. Last year, he fell um, 16 feet out of the air and hit and lit right beside a pipe. He was laying right beside it. If he would have moved over just a tiny bit, he would have impelled on that pipe. So, kids, <laughs> kids. Okay, y'all want to get started because now I see six, and I'm really, really excited. Yes, it, oh, you're so right. I love you guys all so much. It, it, it's just, I am so excited. I love you all. Um, no way, Jackie. No way. 
well, at least I'm like just a couple of years behind you. I haven't quite thought about the 70s yet. I'm thinking more of the 65. But, and you look awesome, Jackie. But then you always look awesome. All of you do. I went back in and found everybody's, tried to find everybody's station channel and subscribed and liked the videos. And maybe, maybe this is how we're getting notified because YouTube kind of quit notifying people for some reason. So if y'all want to get started, Everybody ready? Okay. We're going to do Halloween and a mix of things. So here we go. I will lean back and forth because I'm sitting at my desk and it's a little bit there. I'm trying to get that backlight off of there for you. Moving things around a little. Whoa. Sorry about that. I quit. Okay. We ha I have for first item is this orange vase. It's, oh, there we go. It's a nice size vase. Um, I'll measure it for you. It's satin on the outside. It's glaze on the inside. And for orange... This is pretty. I I really like this. There's no chips, no cracks. And this is the bottom. Oh, boy. Maybe it'll focus. There's a number on the bottom. And it's, um, it's 999. I think it's 212999. Nine, nine. So, um, it's kind of hard for me to read it. My, I should put my glasses on. They're stronger than my contacts. And this pretty orange face, you can use this for Halloween. A while ago, I put fairy lights in this and lit it up. And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but that's my flashlight. And it is so pretty when it's lit up and then I made a I have a candle ring and I put the candle ring around it with some pumpkins and really lit it up it's very very pretty you can there's a little bit of manufacturer wear right there and right there okay and this pretty little orange face it was not so little yeah, I'll measure up for you. Um, this is from top to bottom. Ugh, I gotta put it on my lap. It's eight inches tall. Okay, this is eight dollars. Number. 90. If I can get it to focus. There we go. Number 90. Eight dollars. There you go. Okay. And I know I probably move a little fast. I think this would be pretty for Thanksgiving with your turkey planters. I think that would be awesome. Okay. I told you I reached. Okay. The next thing I have is this little schnauzer Pekingese little dog. He's actually, he's not white. He's yellow. He has all of his gold trim. He's got a little tiny hole in the bottom, and I don't know what that's for. But I think he's very, very pretty. Okay. Until I got him in the light, I thought he was white. That's how hard it is to get light right. 
There he is. His ears are gold. His tail is gold. I saw one on eBay. Okay. And it looked like the one on eBay had a thin gold line through here. I keep forgetting you guys aren't down below me. There we go. A very thin gold line here that he either lost, but all the other gold is very, very, very nice. And this little Pekinese schnauzer, whatever he is, he is number 27 for $9. 27 for $9. Okay. And dogs. I have, and if this, it's my understanding that Patrick and some other folks are doing a, a like action for animal donation thing. If this doesn't go, I'm going to send this to him and maybe it'll help with this cell where all proceeds go. To, maybe it's a dachshund group. I, I'm not sure. But there's a bulldog and a terrier and a chihuahua and little puppies. With their sweaters on. It says putting on the dog. Okay. And on the bottom it says Sherwood. Made in China. Um, 2010. So it's, it's 10 years old. It's in really, really good shape. Okay. This one is... Five dollars, number 23. I'm sorry, this lighting stinks. 23, five dollars, and now I lost two. <laughs> Wherever they went, tell them to come back. Okay, this is Crackle Glass. Oh, great. This is Crackle Glass. This is a hummingbird. Little piece. Trying to get it to focus. <laughs> Isn't that the way it always happens? The phone rings right in the middle of what you're doing. <laughs> okay. It's hand painted. It is really, really pretty. And it has different colors of hummingbirds. I don't know if I'm making it worse or better. There's no chips, no cracks. And it actually doesn't say anything on the bottom. It's green around the rim on top and around the rim on bottom. Yep. Pay attention. And I think he would be really cool as a toothpick holder, put some sugar packets or an air plant, um, anything, toothpicks, whatever you like. Even a little tea light might be nice in there, um, especially the electric ones. Okay, my little Hummer is number 55 for $8. 55. Thank you. I think he's a cute dog figurine, too. It's, it was different anyway. I think he's cute because he's into, um, they, they made him like a little yellow and a little, little white with like yellow in it and he's gold trim and I think he's really cute oh, and the cup I love the cup too okay 
This is my shoe. Okay, little shoe planner. It looks like diamonds in it. There's the boot. Shoe, boot. And I know you guys have seen these like 10 million times. But I was excited to find this. I don't usually find things like this. This little shoe boot is $10, number 56. Here we go. $10, number 56. The Amber Shoe. Okay. I'm going to show you this, and, and because I think of fall when I see this, and Halloween, this guy is so pretty. Somebody did a beautiful, beautiful job on this. See the colors? You can use this as a baby blanket. You can use this as a lap cover. That's what I thought it was. Or, see if I can get back here. Check this out. And you use it as a saw. I love these colors. This definitely is fall. I made one of these early 70s. And somebody did a really, there's not a stitch out of place. Everything is absolutely perfect on it. Okay. Very fun. It is. It's very fall. It's very pretty. And you can have this out for Thanksgiving, too. Just lay it on the back of a chair, even. I just have to hide it from the puppies because they try to make it. They want to cover up with it. Okay. That shawl, lap cover, Throw on the back of your chair. Okay. This is number 33 for $18. Number 33 for $18. Hey. Okay. <laughs> right? I, I bet he would because... My doggies, all three, even as big as they are, they all three have their own blankets. And let mom pick those blankets up and wash them. And they all think they're like, oh, where did my blanket go? Where did my blanket go? Okay. This is my twin. <laughs> She's handmade, soft sculptured. She is even got a work whoop, right there on her nose. I don't know if you can see. I think this is awesome. I was excited when I found her. There's her bottom. Someone did a really good job. She has yarn for her hair. Bet you wish I'd hold that still. Isn't she cute? She's cute with that orange face behind her. Here's her back. And she's got the biggest smile ever. <laughs> okay. She is... Eight dollars, number twenty. Eight dollars, number twenty. 
See, when I wrote 20, I'm thinking I should have been in my 20s. And if you could tell the sun went down, here it comes again. All righty. Uh, yeah, I love her work. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to try to mix because I don't have a lot of Halloween. So I'm going to try to show you other things in between. Kind of fill in the gap. Okay. I think, I think, and I don't care for green, but I think this planter is awesome. It sets in its base. There's no chips, no cracks. You go. I think this is like this. This talks about fall. There's your bottom. There we go. And she. This vase is very, or planter is very protected inside here. Even if it were to crack, it's protected inside its base. Okay, and this vase is $5. Vase planter is $5, number 14. Five dollars, number fourteen. Okay. Next, Jackie's redoing her kitchen, and she she's doing her kitchen in blue. So this is for Jackie and for Ron. Okay, these are false craft. And they're just really pretty white and blue striped mugs. There's two of them. There's no chips, no cracks. And they are heavy. There's the false. Uh, I, look in, I look at the screen and then I get all clustered. They are coffee mugs. I think they have it. Kind of a neat shape as they go in, bubble, and then come out. I think that's neat. These two mugs come as a set because I can't get rid of them by themselves unless somebody wants me to separate them. These are number 84. For the two is $10 or for one it's 5 Number 84. Okay. I like the Wedgwood and the darker blue. They're blue inside. And I, I really like False Craft. I think they have some really neat things. Okay, Jackie, I'll set them aside for you. I'll, I'll stick a note in the one for Ron. See what he says. It's, that way he don't feel like he got left out. <laughs> okay. Now, I hope you guys can see this bowl. Because this bowl is absolutely gorgeous. I hope I can do this bowl justice. It's almost like an amber on the bottom and halfway up, like almost like I don't I don't I don't know. It's it's not carnival glass, but it's white across the ruffles, and this is etched right into the glass. But on the inside, there's no etching. On the outside, 
all the, the flowers and the leaves are all etched on the outside. It's just two-toned and it's fall. And I just thought it was extremely pretty. I was excited to find this. I have been doing some research on this. And I'm sorry, I haven't. I haven't got that far yet. Um, I tried. I looked on eBay and couldn't find anything, especially with the two-tone and the etching on the outside. Whoa. Sorry about that. There's no chips. There's no, no cracks. And this is... Ten dollars for number ten. And sorry about my writing. Ten dollars. Five o'clock this morning is like my writing wasn't doing so great. Ten dollars. Number ten. It is a pretty bowl. That'd be pretty for Thanksgiving. Okay, now if I don't break it, we'll be doing all right. All righty. I know some of you really like cherries. This pie plate has the cherry pie recipe on the inside of it. I thought this was really cool. And if you like cherries, that'd be cool hanging up or sitting on a plate holder. This was made in China. Made in China. And believe me, I'm holding on with both hands because I am scared to death to drop something. Nothing stays in my hands very long. Okay, this is $9, number 15. There are no chips, no cracks. This is 70s, eight, 1980s pie plate. With the cherries... The deer killed my cherry tree. Okay. Mm hmm I remembered Michelle loved cherries. I remembered that. I was hoping she'd be here, but I kind of picked that up thinking she might really like that. Okay. Excuse me for reaching. This is my blue, cobalt blue, little ruffled top face. Oop, there we go. Isn't it pretty? I love the blue. It needs a little, it's got some water stains on the inside. I'll get those out of there. Fix it right up. There's the bottom. It has a mark, but I'll be doggone if I can read it. I have no clue what that says. This little baby blue, or cobalt blue, I mean, little vase, is number 88 for $6. There are no chips, no cracks, 88 for $6. Okay. My lighting keeps changing. I hope it's not, like, changing too bad for you guys. I need another table that I don't have to lean down I can just push it off to the side because it looks like this is going to be about the best lighting that I can do unless I'm outside. Okay, I have to reach again. Okay. 
Okay. This is my little pumpkin. Somebody, again, knitted this and did an awesome job. Hey, isn't he cute? He's got little homemade eyes to make him look like googly eyes. And he's got his little patch that he sets on. There's his bottom. I'm telling you, somebody really did a nice job. It's tight. It The stitches are very tight. Okay. And my little pumpkin today is $6. And he's number 29. Oh, sorry. $6, number 29. Okay. Now, for Thanksgiving, if you want to keep him out for Thanksgiving, just turn him around. Because I still got pumpkins grown in the garden. I thought I had them all. I grew 24 pumpkins this year. And I take in... I grow little ones and big ones for the kids so they can um, carve their pumpkins. But the little ones, I make pumpkin, I bake it down and make pumpkin pies out of them. So I have fresh pumpkin pies every year for Thanksgiving. Aw, cool. Okay, I have to go to town, so I'm going to, I'll pick up some of those tablets. And yeah, pumpkin pie is my favorite. I love pumpkin pie. I can eat pumpkin pie all year. Only thing is, it tends to make me grow and grow. And it sure ain't this way. It's going to be this way. Okay, my next Halloween is a welcome sign, and he is too cute. He's wood. Okay, can there he is, the witch, a ghost, and Frankenstein, with the spider in the center. Okay, this, these little guys up here, boing around, the bat, the moon, the pumpkin, and the bat. Okay, he's cute, has his hanger up here to hang him up, him, her, it. It's a ghost. This is eight dollars, number twenty-five. He's eight dollars, number twenty-five. Uh, Autocorrect when you're trying to type something. That's like predicted text. I've sent more text. That sounds so stupid because of predicted text. It changes your words to what it thinks it should be. <laughs> no, that's not what I said. Okay. Now, this Halloween guy is actually not Halloween. I don't know, honestly, what Benahana is. But when I saw this, I thought it was a ghost. I've heard of Benahana, but I didn't, I've never known what it was. And I was going to put a tea light down in there and put a pumpkin on top. Hold on a second. Yeah, let me grab one of these. This is a sweater pumpkin. 
and it sits right on top. Check that out. Okay, but oh, don't be me. Last night, I was pricing everything and working. He does have crazing. Um, he was made in Japan, I think. I think that's what that says. Yeah, Japan. There's his bottom. Now, <laughs> I turn this thing around and check him out. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is. I'm not really sure. He's got a big belly. I give you that. But he'd still be cool for Halloween. He'd be cool to put in your decor. I would definitely turn him around. But, um, yeah, I thought he was neat. The big-bellied man, Ben Ohana, is number 55, and he's $8. Number 55, and he's $8. <laughs> That'll teach me to turn things around. I did. I thought he was a ghost until I turned him around last night and went, What the heck? What did I do? <laughs> but he does, he'll hold, he does hold things. I put um, a glass tray on him and it set, I put one of the sweater pumpkins on top and he sits. Whoa, I did that. So it is fun, little. He's just fun. I don't know what else to say. He's just fun. He has no chips, no cracks, just the crazy. Light. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, he's got some cracks. He's got a belly button. They didn't forget his belly button. Okay. Next I have, and if you saw something fall out of this little pumpkin, when I made these, I thought that I would stuff it with rice to make it a little bit lighter, easier to pack. No, 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 no. I needed the beans. Because the rice falls right through the sweater. <laughs> that wasn't a good idea. So, in between time, I've got rice everywhere. And this is my angel. She's a little farm girl. She has a basket of flowers. She's light blue. I don't know if you can tell. There's her little face. There's no chips or cracks on any of the petals on her flowers. She's got some weight to her. She has a blue ribbon around her sunbonnet and her little blue ruffled apron. Here's her back. I think she's so sweet. Hairs and pigtails. This on the bottom says Russ. I did not know other than Rust bears and cats. I honestly did not know Russ made glassware. She has little little places there where she sat. And I just think she's absolutely so pretty. She looks so sweet, and her angel wings. This little angel, sorry, allergies are going crazy today. Number 77, she's $8. Number 77 for $8. Uh-oh, I'm losing people right and left here. Okay.
Next, I have my pheasant planter. There is no chips, no cracks. He does have a tiny, tiny spot right there. Looks like something rubbed up against it, maybe. Or sitting in a window, maybe. I've seen duck planters. I've seen all kinds of planters. But the pheasant planter is the first time I've found one. There's his bottom. He has absolutely no chips, no cracks, no nothing, except for that one little place he wore. This was made in Japan. Okay. On the bottom, I can't read the first two words, but it says pheasant, and then it says E737. And I got my fingers stuck in him. There's his sticker. When I was little, my grand my grandpa went to Ohio because I'm from Indiana. My grandpa went to Ohio every year pheasant hunting. I think he is really pretty. I always look forward to going with him. Okay, my pheasant planter is number 64 and he's $9. 64 like mo me almost me about 2 weeks. Maybe not that long. Yeah, about 2 weeks. 64 for $9. Okay, I think we're down to two people. I don't know where everybody went. I think, I think Lori was at work, but I'm she pop, she's popping in and out. Okay, next I have. I remember seeing this at my grandma's house, and my mom had one, so. If my mom was, my mom turned 82 in February. I don't know. I'm sorry. I honestly don't know the name of this splatter. But I think it looks very fall and very pretty. You can use it for a vase. Stick a little air plant in it. I was always fascinated over the colors. There's no chips, no cracks. There's his bottom. It has it has markings on the bottom. I can read. I can read Betty. I think. And I think that's a number nine, but I really am not sure. So this. Okay. And this little vase is number 18 for $6. Number 18 for $6. I think that it, it's a it's not white, it's like a off white with the red and the orange and the brown. And I'll get that piece of sticker off of there. That's all that is. Sticker residue. Looks like it's been on there for a long time. Okay. Um I love this little picture. It's green. It's got some dark greens in it, some browns, and it all kind of runs together and on across the bottom. 
as well. And the oak leaves. This is definitely, definitely fall. Okay, there's his bottom. Is so there's to me I would use this for a syrup pitcher. Go and it has it does have a mark on the bottom, but I'm sorry, I can't read it. I can't make it out. There's an M on the bottom. He's a nice size little pitcher. I can see me use this and I can see it going on the floor too. This is number 100 for $5. Okay. Next we have I have a set of coffee cups, and I did not take the, these are the saucers and the cups together. I did not take the plastic off. I will and clean them up, but I did not because I'm a klutz, and I would have them dropped. This says Historical Ports of England. Port of Hall, H-U-L-L, and then it says Made in England, there they are, there's the bottom, there is no chips, these are in awesome condition, no chips, no cracks, and there's a set of them. There you go. They have a ship on them. The old time Christopher Columbus selling ships because it's a port. And there you go. And these two coffee as a set are $12. I'm afraid I'll drop them. They're $12. They're number nine. Thank you, Lori. I'll set that aside for you. That little brown picture, right? This picture? I don't know where she went. Yes, please. Okay, I got you. Thank you very much. Okay. There's coffee cups and saucers. God, I've never seen them. I don't... Ah, uh, How do I say this? Um, I can find a lot of things from different countries. This area is very much all from different countries. So sometimes it's kind of easy. But those teacups in, from England I thought were really, really pretty. Um, next, I was going to show you something. I'll get back to that. Okay. Next we have... A dresser tray, a vanity tray, make it whatever kind of plate you want it, a celery plate if you like. On the inside, it's all raised up. Okay. I think this is really pretty. It too reminds me of fall because of the yellows 
and the greens and the golds. This one has a little bit of wear on the gold and the blues. Actually, it looks purple to me, but, and I think I had it upside down. <laughs> there you go. On the back, it says Holland Mold MKF. And I did look up Holland Mold. They have some really pretty things. There you go. Okay, this plate, tray, celery dish, whatever you want it to be, is number 75, and it's $9. 75, $9. Okay. Um... Nobody's here helping me, so if you can rem go into the description, you'll find my email. It's doggonehappy.co at gmail.com. And if you can send me all your information, we'll get this all taken care of. And I'm so excited. The Internet's holding up. After how many days of coming back to fix it for me? All right. This guy, there's new markings. I just thought it was really cool coffee mug. Only because it's brown and it's fall. And all I could think about was hot chocolate with peppermints in it. There's no chips, no cracks. It is pottery. I thought it was redware, but it's not. There's the bottom. And if you like this coffee cup, it's number 101 for $5. Oh, sorry. Learn to keep my pay attention to what I'm doing. But he's $5. Number 101. No fall. Oh. Do you get a lot of rain where you're at? In Florida? If I can, and everything holds up, in the summer... I haven't been to Florida in a hundred years, but um, when I went, we got a on board. We toured from Indiana, Indianapolis, to Miami on bus, and <laughs> they didn't want me back on the bus because I got sick, motion sick. I was a lot younger, and. Um, we toured all through Florida, and then we caught a cruise ship in Miami. We took the cruise ship to the Bahamas. It was, I loved the Bahamas, and I loved Key West. That was my two favorites. Okay, next I have, and sorry for reaching. See if I can get things over here. This is another planter. This is a blue planter. It's like a Wedgwood blue, kind of a gray blue. So it's glazed on the inside. And just from where, there's a little place right there. I don't know if you can see that. There. Okay. On the bottom, it says Pacific Rim. Made in China. Um... 
do not use for food use and it's got a real long number on there and it does have sticker residue i'll get that off i thought this is really pretty i think it's a pretty planner i really never paid attention to planners until i started doing this okay and this planter is number 57 for eight dollars 57 eight dollars okay crash crash Uh, New England, I'm telling you, if I can, after this is over, I'm going to try to upload a video on the leaves outside. I was afraid that when uh, Hurricane Storm came in last night, it would knock the leaves all out, but it is really pretty. It's very pretty outside. Rhode Island? Um, I think that's what that says, Rhode Island. I bet it is gorgeous there. The leaves have been so pretty this year. Awesome. See, uh, if you go down off the mountain, because I live on top of the mountain, and the leaves have just been beautiful this year. But if you go down... It's hardly started turning much down below. And down below, I mean down to civilization away from the mountain. Okay. I'll quit yapping at you. And this little angel baby, you hang her up. Isn't she pretty? Look at her eyes. Wait, see if I can get her. Okay, maybe not. Isn't she pretty? She's ceramic. There's no chips, no cracks in her at all. I think she'd be pretty in a little girl's room or hanging above your bed. Even in the bathroom, I reckon. Hey, she's, there is nothing wrong. No chips, no cracks. And I will tell you what this says. It says, Telso, T-I-L-S-O, hand-painted angel, and she's from Japan. There's her back. What? I got to learn about this thing. Here you go. She is number 88 and she's $15. 88. She's $15. I've been to Cumberland. We go down there, um, we used to go all the time. Um, my husband's sister lived that way. We're not, I'm not that far from Cumberland now. We'll probably get there less than an hour, I'm going to say. And if I'd known Patrick had been in Pittsburgh last week, that's only 45 minutes from where I'm at. So if you go on a straight shot, I got to come down off the mountain. But I would have loved to met up with them. That would have been awesome. Okay, the next item is this pretty pin. And I just unhooked it. This is a vintage pen. 
now, before about three, four weeks ago, my hair was at the bottom of my, in the middle of my back. And I chopped it all off. This pretty little brooch, uh, if it will focus, it's green and pink, little brooch. There's its back. It has gold down here to make like a bouquet that comes out. It's not missing any stones. And I think this is really pretty. It's very vintage. I can remember my grandma wearing one similar to this. And if you don't want to wear it, you can always stick it in your hair. That's what I was saying. I was so used to having a ponytail. I would have stuck this in my hair band. There we go. Closed it. There you go. This little pen is number 42 and it's nine dollars. Number 42, nine dollars. I'm not one to wear. There you go. I can't hold it on too good. I don't know if you could see that very good. But I think it's really, really pretty. Something I don't know a whole lot about is vintage jewelry. I know some, but I kind of like to kind of like to stay away from it just so I mean a little bit here and there is one thing but until I learn more so I don't shoot my mouth off and don't know what I'm talking about I probably won't have a lot of jewelry okay thank you Jackie okay oh crunch okay I do have another one, and I will show you my pride and joy, one of my pride and joys here in one second. This is another brooch pen. There you go. This would be really pretty in your hair. And a ponytail. It looks like a button with rhinestones. It's gold. None of the stones are missing. It's just kind of simple and to the point. There's the back. This one I'd wear on my coat. I definitely would wear this one. Okay. This one is number 39 for $9. $39 for $9. I've never been to Niagara Falls. I'd love to go to the falls. Um, is there about five hours from here? Because we talked about it before. Um, some of us girls wanted to get together and go to New York for New York City for Christmas. I would love, 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 love. And I wanted to go to the, the big fountain where the Twin Towers stood. I, I would love that. Now, I'm only from Flight 93. It, it's, if you go by road, it'll take me about 45 minutes to get there. If you go by air... It would take me five minutes, eight minutes to get there by air. When 9-11 happened, because I'm on top of the mountain, it the, the flight flew, the plane flew over the top of 
the airport. I don't know if he was going to try to take it down at the airport or what was going on, but he flew over the top of the airport. And because I'm up so high, it flew right over the top of my house. At the time, we lived in a trailer. We moved the trailer up on the ground until we could get the house built. And that thing was so low that it literally shook my trailer and busted out windows. Some of my cupboard doors flew open. Dishes come flying out of the cupboard. Right before then, I knew what was going on, but I didn't know about Flight 93. I knew the Pentagon, and I knew the Twin Towers. And my daughter called me on the phone, and she goes, Mom, what if it happens here? And I said, oh, honey, who would want dumb old late trope? Although there are a lot of steel factories here. Um, back in behind my mind, I'm going, what if they do fly here? And then I'm thinking, you know what? This is on top of the mountain. It's kind of flat. He could take that plane down right on top of me. And that was the afterthought after I found out when I got to work and found out about Shanksville, Flight 93. And I felt so stupid telling my daughter that they wouldn't ever fly a plane here. Oh, boy. Well, she did forgive me for that, but I really did feel really bad um, because I told her that. I felt horrid over the whole thing. Scared, said lots of prayers. Okay, the next item I have, I know I get off subject sometimes, are these three tumblers. Check them out. Pumpkin tumblers. There's only three of them. One, two, three. And there's them. They are plastic. Good for little kid. Good for husbands who like to break everything. There they are. That is just sticker residue. But it's Halloween. And I thought they were so cute. The three of them are $5. Number three. Three for Three for five. Okay. There we go. Okay. Here is a vanity table tray. Vanity. Whatever you want to say. I think this is so pretty. It is a plot. It's transfer. It's not hand painted. There's the back. There's no chips. No, no cracks. No nothing. Here you go. And on the back, it has. I think it says ninety two. So it may have been something somebody made in school, maybe. Um. I don't know, but look at the pretty purple flowers, blue ones, the little butterflies, and daisies are my favorite flower. I love daisies. And I can tell you how long he is, because he's a long one. He, you can tell I've been around happy all day. Everything's he. Okay, this is about 15 and a half inches long. There you go. Just a tricky tray if you like. Um, there's no instructions about not using it for food. So I don't see why you couldn't put maybe celery. Or corn on the cob. I don't know. I think it's actually just a dresser 
to put up on your dresser. It is very pretty. I love this. It's not, it's like a bone china. It's not white. It's a bone color. And this is number 63 for $10. Sixty-three for ten dollars, and I did see last night. I was in better light. It does say G one nine two. There it is. I see it now. There's the G, and the one nine two is just above it. I'll tell you what, if this is a school project, somebody did, but I don't think it is. I think it's more vintage than 90, uh, 192. And again, this is number 63 for $10. Nate! Oh my gosh, thank you for coming. Hi, Nate. You're awesome. Thank you. Oh, you all are awesome. Thank you for coming. Hope us girls can entertain you. <laughs> I like that. The claps. I like that. Okay. Besides the little tumblers, the big tumblers, okay, we got little kids' glasses. These are little water glasses, little juice glasses, whatever you would like to make them. There's bats. There's another bat. There's another bat. So we got three bats. We got a pumpkin face on both sides. And we have a purple witch on her broom. Aren't these cute? They're just cute little glasses. I think kids will love them. I know Lily wanted to take these home. And this is number 40. And you get all one, two, three, four, five of them for five dollars. Number forty, five dollars. I am so happy you guys are here. All of you, you all make me happy. In the trying times this year, I will be so happy to get this year of when is Halloween? Now Actually, Christmas is my favorite holiday, and it's October 31st. Christmas is my favorite holiday. On the other hand, Thanksgiving is my favorite because I love to decorate for Christmas. My whole house gets decorated. Um, a tree in every room. But Thanksgiving is a time where everybody just sits and talks and eats and talks and eats some more and I there's no gifts no it's just friends and family and I love that about Thanksgiving and we can all remember our blessings if we tend to forget every day always remember on Thanksgiving Excuse me, I'm dry. Okay. Now, I'm not big enough yet or a big enough audience to do uh, the offer-ups and stuff. So if we can keep spreading the word and I keep getting things that folks like, then we'll do the offer-ups as time goes on. And believe me, I have stacked up on Christmas vintage. Vintage Christmas. Okay. The next item is this little picture. 
Very fall has brown, brown and off white roses. And check the rose bud out on the inside. I think this is gorgeous. It does have markings on the bottom and it does it does say something, but good luck with all that. There's the bottom. And heck, you could probably use this for a short picture. I don't know. I put an airplane in it because I think it's pretty just the way it is. Go. Oh, this is number 101, and this is $6. It is very pretty. I like it. <laughs> Yeah, I love Thanksgiving. It's my favorite. Hispanic holiday. Um, the Day of the Dead. Hispanic holiday. I don't understand. Thanksgiving is? I don't know. I thought you were asking me. Never mind. Leave it up to me. Okay. Anyway, this is 101, 102. I'm sorry, 102. There you go. Okay. The next item I have, I showed you the tray. Are these really, really, really cool haunted houses? If you have a little tree, they're made in China, they're wood. But if you decorate a Halloween tree, which I have uh, one of the small Christmas trees. And I put orange lights on it and decorate it with these. There's that one. This one says, Happy Halloween. They're made in China. I don't know if I said that. Um, you know what? I'm going to dump them. Because there's a pile of them. Um... There's one with the ghost. Happy Halloween. It should have been now on it. Heck, I dress up every year. I take the kids trick-or-treating. My grandson has the most beautiful little girlfriend. She's sweet as pumpkin pie. And um, we're going to try to talk her into dressing this year. Um, my daughter has a stepdaughter, which actually she's her daughter. You know, I mean, she doesn't put the step, no how, no way in the front. And, and then I have my granddaughter that's nine. I think Ava is going to be... 17 and I have fun with the kids in the summertime they all come stay with me and we ride quads up and down and in the woods and we have a good time it's fun if we can get her to dress up there's another one I swear these have never been used they're all either happy Halloween there's the owl. Yeah, there are only two different ones. Haunted House with the ghost and Happy Halloween. Okay. There's two, four, six, eight. There's nine of them. I don't know how that happened, but there's nine of them. And if you would like all nine of them, Okay, they're 
six dollars for all nine of them and there are letter h for halloween and house so if you would like to have these and decorate with them they're letter h for halloween for six dollars for the whole pile of them okay the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go get what I left out. I'll be right back. I'm sorry about this. Don't go nowhere. Okay, Lori, I got it. I'll put these away. I think they're cute. And I'm telling you, I swear they've never been even touched. They're so clean. I'm coming. I'm sorry, I did not mean to do that. It's like, where's the rest of my stuff? This is a Cupid doll from. I'm gonna say late 60s maybe early 70s she's never been out of her box yes yeah, she is there yeah, she is her box is a little worn there you go isn't she pretty it's this one's by Jesco. It's Cameo's Cupid since 1913. Bye, Nate. You don't have to take off so fast. Oh, bless his heart. Thank you. There we go. This Cupid doll, she's letter D for doll. And she's $14. I used to have a Cupid doll. I wish I still had her. She's letter D for $14. Here we go. See if I can get that back in there. The next thing I want to show you. She give you a sneak preview of Christmas. Okay, I have this wooden box, an oval box. It's just a little trinket box. Um, actually, you can probably put anything you wanted in it. There's the little nails to hold it together. I think this box is so pretty. I love this little box. It does have a sticker on the bottom and it does say made in Taiwan. Here we go. Okay, and this little box, we'll use him as letter B as in box. And he's five dollars. Bye, Lori. Thank you. Okay, and I have one more thing to show you. And this is my Sunshine Girls or Hobby Holly. But it's a boy and a girl. Coffee cups. They're blue and white. With their hardened on to their hearts. It says on the bottom, um, Actually, I think it says it's made in Taiwan. 
There are one, four cups. There's no chips, no cracks, and they come with their hangers. And you can use these hangers different ways. Here's one. They're like galvanized metal. There's one. And these are made to hang up. No problem. Here's this one to hang all four cups on. Blue speckles. And you can decorate with those. Wait, there's another one yet. This is the napkin holder. Here's the other two cups. I think these are just adorable. I don't know if these the Sunshine Kids or Hobby Holly. I'm not sure which. But they're so cute. These guys sell as a set napkin holder. And I lost my thing. Where did it go? Okay, they sell the whole thing sells as set. It's number 32 for $15. It's eight pieces. There's no chips, no cracks, and this metal. I hooked everything. This metal is very lightweight. So the shipping, the only weight is the coffee cups. There's the weight. These don't weigh anything. And they're made to hang up. And that is eight piece set. 32 for $15. Okay, anybody want to see anything else that I might have? Or be interested in anything? You want to go back over anything? Um, I don't know. At least we're an hour and a half, and we kind of, it might be a little fast. But um, I think it's good for what I have. And I can keep y'all interested. Um, I don't know. Anybody want to see anything? Wait a second. I got somebody to show you. Come here, buddy. Come here, happy. Come here. See if I can get him up here. Come here, bud. Here. Come here. Come on. Get up here. He's huge. Come here, buddy. Come on. What are you doing? You want to see everybody? You want to say hi? Hi, Happy? Here. There's my buddy. There's Happy. He doesn't want anything to do with putting his paws up there. There he is. And I'll introduce you to Sadie Girl. Come here, Sadie. Come here, Sadie. Over here. Watch out, Happy. Come here, baby. Come here, Sadie girl. This is my Sadie. Whoa, stay here, Sadie. Sadie, say hi. I know, it's kind of hard to see. There she is. Yep, she's had enough. And Katie's in the background, if you can see her. There she is. She's the brown one. She's my hound dog. She is... Sadie, the black one, is Black Lab and Collie. She's got the big Collie mane and the long, funky hair. She is eight. Katie's the red bone coon hound, and she's four. And Happy, he's my baby. He's He just turned two. And thanks, Jackie. Yes, he is. After I got outside with all the water, my water isn't any good. They blasted up here too much for the stone. So we don't have good water. So we have to bring all of our water in. And once I got outside with the water jugs and washed him all down because I used Dawn and washed him all down, it wasn't his blood. 
he wasn't hurt at all. The little brat, he found uh, something that the coyotes took down, and it was a big... I, I went with him to go see what he got into, and it's a big gut pile that he's just laying there, and the coyotes hadn't cleaned it up. So... Now we got to find out if the meat was bad because he does get shots for eating bad meat every year and drinking bad water every year because you never trust him in and out of the woods. So what I could see, the coyotes hadn't cleaned it all the way up, but it was nothing but deer guts. from And, and the coyotes... They say, I know there's bobcats. They say there's cougars. I don't know. I've never seen a cougar. The bobcats, yes. Um, in September, October, there's a bobcat that sits in my driveway every year. Comes down and checks everybody out. Just sits there, looks around. He does it for about a week. And then he's gone. He doesn't come back till next year. Um, turkeys, a lot of turkeys, a lot of deer, and an extreme amount of coyotes. They got so close to the house the other day, I was ready to get the gun and fire in the air so that they would go away. They were screaming so loud. So, yep, yuck is absolutely right. So now, after he did it the first time, I turned my back on him and... He turned right around and did it the second time. So he got two baths in one day, but he's good. He's okay, and that's that's all I care about. Giving him bath wasn't no big deal. He stands still for the most part. I just felt bad. The water was kind of cold, but I wrapped him in a blanket, and oh, he's so spoiled. They all three are, and... My kitty's running around here somewhere. Her name is Daisy, and Daisy's pure white. She's going to be loving my Daisy girl. So, okay, guys, I could go get more stuff if you want to stick around or if you want to see anything, I'd be happy to show it. Anybody's birthday? In October, besides me and Jackie, let me know. Again, my email is doggonehappy.co at gmail.com. Anybody want to see anything, do anything? I, we can talk if you like, whatever, whatever we do. Yeah, you ought to smell him when he came back. It wasn't just the way he looked, because I freaked. I thought he got into a fight with a coyote or a bobcat, because he stands on his, he stands his ground. He doesn't run away from anything. Him and Katie, the hound dog, she does the same thing. She'll stand her ground. She's gotten into more fights with raccoons this past spring, she got her bottom lip all tore up. Raccoon grabbed a hold of her bottom lip and pulled. And it's like, you'll learn to leave the raccoon alone. Because they could get kind of nasty, but... Anybody want... Zoom. Okay. All right, I think we're going to cut this off now, and y'all have a good day. Thank you so much for coming. I love you, Jackie. Bye. Ashley, I love you all, and as Jackie says, don't forget to wear your mask. Stay safe. Bye. Stay safe. Wear your mask, and use your head a little bit. Be, st be smart. Okay. I love you all. 
Have a great day. I'll see you next Tuesday. I have a whole lot more lined up. And maybe if we get more people, we can stay on here a little bit longer. Thank you all for coming. Bye.